Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to try and determine the voltage across a capacitor when the current is known. In this case, we have a current that for the first two milliseconds increases from zero to 100 milliamps and then remains at 100 milliamps for the next three seconds, all the way out to five seconds, or I should say milliseconds. We're trying to determine the current after two milli, this should be two milliseconds, not seconds. So let me rewrite that. So what is the current after two milliseconds and what is the current after five milliseconds? And of course, we're going to use the same equations before that the current is equal to the capacitance times the rate of change of the voltage with respect to time. So since we're trying to find the voltage in this case, we need to solve this equation for V. So what we can do here is write the following. We can write that dV is equal to one over the capacitance times the current times dT. Notice that since the equation of the current as a function of time changes after two milliseconds, we probably want to do this twice. We want to calculate the voltage twice. First for region number one, which ends after two milliseconds, and then for region number two, which ends after five milliseconds. So we'll have to calculate the voltage after two milliseconds, and then calculate how much more voltage we we get across the capacitor between two and five milliseconds and then add the two voltages together. So the next thing we need to do is find an equation that relates the current to the voltage for region number one. For region number one, we can say that the equation looks like a linear equation, looks like a y equals mx plus b equation. In this case, y is the current, and I'll use a small i. i is equal to the slope, which is the rise over the run. The rise is 100 milliamps divided by the run, which is 2 milliseconds. Multiply times the horizontal variable, which is time, plus zero, because it starts right at the origin. In other words, we have the current as a function of time, which is equal to 50 milliamps per milliseconds times time, which is 50 divided by seconds times t plus zero. Now, that goes in here. And so I'm going to leave the units off for a moment to make it easier. We can now write dV is equal to 1 over the capacitance times 50 times T dT. We can now integrate both sides of the equation. The voltage is equal to the integral of the dV, which is equal to 50 divided by the capacitance times the integral of T times dT. And we'll have to integrate that from time equals 0 to time equals 2 milliseconds. And this should be milliseconds, not seconds, otherwise it doesn't work out. Next, we have the voltage is equal to 50 divided by the capacitance, which is said to be one microfarad, so one microfarad, and we multiply that times the integral of t dt, which is t squared over 2, and we have to evaluate that from 0 to 2 milliseconds. When we plug in the lower limit, we get zero. When we plug in the upper limit, we get V is equal to 50. I shouldn't leave the, shouldn't leave the units off, so I'm going to put milliamps there. I'm going to put milliamps there, milliamps per milliseconds. Probably want the units there. So we get 50 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 1 microfarad, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 6, times T squared. Now, T would be... 0 0.002 milliseconds, we have to square that divided by 2. All right, what do we get when we calculate that? So we get 50 e to the 3 minus divided by 1 e to the 6 minus times 0 0.002 squared and divided by 2 equals, and we get a voltage of 100 millivolts. So that's how much voltage will build up on the capacitor during the first two milliseconds. Now we're going to try to find out how much more voltage builds up when the current now continues at a steady state of 100 milliamps. So the voltage, dV, so this is for region 2, dV is going to be equal to, using the same equation, 1 over C times I dT. Now in this case, I is going to be a constant 100 milli milliamps. So we can say that dV is equal to 100 milliamps divided by the capacitance times dt, 
which means that the voltage, this is going from 2 milliseconds to 5 milliseconds, is equal to the integral of dV, which is equal to 100 milliamps, divided by the capacitance times the integral of dT, going from 2 to 5, and that's of course milliseconds, and the integral of dT is simply T, that means we get V is equal to 100 milliamps, divided by the capacitance of 1 microfarads, times T evaluated from 2 to 5 milliseconds. So when we plug in the upper limit, we get 5 milliseconds. When we plug in the lower limit, we get 2 milliseconds. And the difference would be 3 milliseconds. So this is equal to 100 milliamps divided by 1 microfarad times 5 minus 2, which is 3 milliseconds. Which means that the voltage added to the capacitor between 2 and 5 milliseconds is going to be equal to, again, 100 e to the... 3 minus divided by 1 e to the 6 minus and times 3 e to the 3 minus equals and that's going to be 300 millivolts. And that's for region 2, this is for region 1 and so the total voltage after 5 milliseconds we can now say, and let me get a little space on the board here, we can say that V total is simply equal to V1 plus V2 which is going to be equal to 100 millivolts plus 300 millivolts or for a total of 400 millivolts across the capacitor after 5 milliseconds. And that's how we do that.